Before you start, make sure the side switch is set to game. Tap the cogwheel icon at the bottom left of the screen, then tap Remote Control. Then Keyboard. We can now start remapping the buttons of the remote control. Select Scroll Forwards, then push the remote's jog wheel forwards. That's it! This button is now mapped. Tap back to Keyboard Control to map the next one. Now we will map Scroll Backwards. Push the remote's jog wheel downwards. Next is the increase scroll speed by 5 points. Push the remote's jog wheel to the right. Next is the decrease scroll speed by 5 points. Push the remote's jog wheel to the left. Now let's map Next cue point. Press the X button on the remote. Now we will map the previous cue point. Press the B button on the remote. Next is the increase font size. Press the Y button on the remote. Our last button mapping is the decrease font size. Press the A button on the remote. We have now mapped all the buttons required for teleprompting efficiently. You will now see that all the buttons are working according to the mapping we have just completed. Jog wheel up to start or stop forward scrolling. Jog wheel down to scroll backwards. Quick tip! If you push the jog wheel a second time in the direction it is scrolling, the script will stop. Jog wheel to the right to increase the speed of the scrolling. Jog wheel to the left to decrease the speed of the scrolling. The X button takes you to the next cue point, or the end of your script if there are no further cue points. The B button takes you to the previous cue point, or the start of the script if there are no more cue points. The Y button increases the font size. Press it multiple times to continue increasing the size. Do the same with the A button to decrease the font size.